Joining me now is a member of the class of 2006, Molly Huddle. Molly is a long-distance runner who was a 10-time All-American at Notre Dame and holds 10 national records. Molly, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Hi, thanks for having me. So, Molly, you graduated from Notre Dame back in 2006. What do you remember most from your time on campus? What sticks out? Oh, gosh. Um, probably I just remember the practices that are our, our cross-country practices around the lakes. Um, great times with the team. Same teammates that I had cross-country indoor and outdoor, so we were really close. Um, and just, yeah, sharing the, you know, third place finish with our cross country team. That was probably one of the funnest memories I had there at Notre Dame. So bringing things back to the present day, the pandemic has changed things for everybody. So how has it changed your routine? Does it make it easier or harder for you to train? It definitely makes it harder. I think um, as a distance runner, it's probably the easiest to adapt to because you just need to go outside and get your mileage in. But it's been hard to get on a track this year. And, um, you know, most of us are trying to make an Olympic team. And when that got delayed, it, it sort of really um, put a lot of uncertainty into the schedule uh, as far as when we need to be ready, when races will open up again. So, um, yeah, I think we shared a lot of the athletes share those kind of struggles this year. But as a distance runner, I can't be too upset. I don't need a gym. I don't need a pool. I can just go outside and, and get done most of what I need to get done. So grateful for that. <laughs> And this past November, you broke three records in one run, all in one hour, not to mention it was raining that day. What does that mean to you and how did you celebrate that? Yeah, that was kind of a fun, unique, special thing. You know, the hour record on the track isn't very often run, so you could say it was a soft record. But my coach had the idea to do it because um, in the pandemic, it was something we could control. It was like a fun new challenge. And so... Um, we, yeah, we celebrated, you know, not a lot of people were allowed there. So it was really just my close friends and a few people that had helped me with the event. And so it was kind of special. We had a good playlist going. <laughs> we were just out there having fun in the rain and, um, just happy to be at, you know, somewhat of a normal race. Um, so that was fun to take in. And after that, I took a little break. I took mm -hmm. a week or two off of running and geared back up again. So I see you're calling in from Arizona. You're originally from the East Coast, but you moved out west. So what brought you out there? Yeah, I'm just here for an altitude training camp. Um, we come out here in the winter and then usually before a big meet just to get really ready and do a training camp. Um, I spend the rest of the year in Providence, Rhode Island, where my coach uh, lives and some of the women in my training group live. So we're back and forth. But yeah, we're... We're at the top of the mountain now, so everything's a little bit harder up here. And you're married to another Notre Dame runner, Kurt Benninger. Who's faster? <laughs> so it depends on the distance. Um, anything I'd say mile down, Kurt's faster. Right now, he doesn't really do as much work. Uh, he's kind of retired from the running game, so I think I'm faster anything longer than that. But yeah, he still hops in and helps me with some <laughs> of the faster workouts. That's great you guys have that connection. Now, back in 2015, you were one of the people to submit a request for the addition of a female runner emoji. I'm sure I have definitely used that. Why was that important to you to get that emoji? Yeah, that's definitely a fun fact, I guess. Um, I don't know. I was just talking with one of my friends from high school. We were on the basketball team together, and she was going to go run a, a race. And she was like, man, like this emoji doesn't cover it. Like we need an emoji with a ponytail or a female running emoji. And we both just kind of were like, yeah, uh, I have some free time on my hands. I'm a professional runner. I'm a woman. I'd love to have that emoji too. <laughs> so um, I just looked up how to do it and sent in a proposal to Unicode. And it was kind of like a fun, like sort of goofy side project, but also, I don't know, representation is important. So I was kind of excited to see it actually come through. Um, although now there's an emoji for quite a lot of things. So it's not really that hard to do. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us, Molly. Best of luck with your training. We've loved having you here on Notre Dame Day. Yeah, thanks so much. Go Irish.